There's an opportunity for day and swing traders to squeeze a surprisingly large amount of cash flow out of their day and swing trading ideas, but most day traders don't understand the nuances of options trading, which makes all of that possible. I'm the head trader on our options trading desk here at SMB Capital in Manhattan, and I get a constant flow of questions from the day and swing traders here at the firm as to how they can exploit the unique options characteristics to improve their trading and specifically generate cash flow. If you're trading at home and would like to learn an easy technique to generate a large amount of cash flow out of a completely normal swing trading plan for a stock, then I'd stay with this video because I think you're going to be very surprised. Hi, I'm Seth Freuberg and I'm the head trader of SMB Capital's Options Trading Desk. SMB Capital is a proprietary trading firm located in Midtown Manhattan and we provide capital for options and equity traders from all over the world trading both remotely and in our offices here in New York City. Now, I'd like to suggest that you click on our subscribe button right now so that you don't miss any of our free trading videos that we produce for traders and investors all over the world. They're really very valuable. Okay, so one of the traders at the firm here approached me last week to get ideas on how I could help him to structure a trade around a position that he was in pertaining to Tesla stock. For privacy purposes, I don't want to get into the identity of the trader or the precise details of the trade, which is unnecessary anyway because of the purpose of this video, which is to teach you the principles of the concepts anyway. But what we'll do is to basically reconstruct what happened, and then I will get into the advice that I gave him. So as you might know, Tesla reported earnings on October 23rd, and the trader was bullish on Tesla well before that. So over the last few months, when Tesla was trading quite a bit lower than it is now, the trader bought three Tesla 285 calls in the September 2020 options expiration chain, and he paid $34 each for those. Now just to review the basics for those of you new to options, and this will be quick for the more experienced traders watching, so just bear with us for a minute. The 285 calls that he bought entitled him to buy Tesla at a price of 285 at any point between the day he bought the calls and the expiration of those calls next year. Because each equity call represents 100 shares of stock and he bought three of them, you can see from the calculation that the trade cost him $10,200 to initiate. Now, on October 23rd, Tesla was trading around 250 and then earnings were released and the stock gapped up to 300. So this trader's instincts turned out to be pretty good. Now, as of today, Tesla is trading around 347. And so as you can see, the 285 call is now worth $92.45. Now, I want to spend a minute to break down why the call appreciated to $92.45 from its original cost of $35 and some of the implications of that. Well, with Tesla now at 347, the trader has the right to buy shares of Tesla at 285 for stock trading at 347. So basically, he could exercise his call today, receive the shares for 285, and flip them the next minute for about 347, netting him a profit of $62 per share. So that would be income of $18,600. But remember, he paid $10,200 for the three calls, so his profit on that transaction would actually be $8,400. But if he just went ahead and sold the three calls themselves in the open market, instead of exercising the calls and buying the shares at 62 points below the market, if he just sold the calls, then he'd get $92.45 for each share those calls represented, in which case he'd collect $27,735, as you can see from the illustration. And so, if he instead sold the calls, he'd actually be better off because he'd collect more than $9,000 extra by outright selling the calls than the scenario where he exercises the calls and then flips the shares for profit. So you might be wondering, why are the calls, calls worth so much more than the profit he'd make by exercising those calls and flipping the stock immediately? And that's because the calls have what options traders call a time premium built into them. So let's look at that. So option traders call the difference between the strike price of the option, and in this case the strike price is 285 on the calls he bought, they call that difference between the strike price and the price the stock is currently trading at as the intrinsic 
premium of the option. But the option is trading for $90.45, which is way more than 62. Well, that difference between the market price of the option and the intrinsic value of the option is called the time premium of the option, which in this case, as you can see from the calculation, is $30.45. Now, you're probably wondering why the seller of that option isn't willing to sell the option at any cheaper than $92.45, when if you flip the shares today, you'd only get the, the intrinsic value of the option back. In other words, you'd only make $62 per share by flipping them. But you'd have to pay $92.45 to buy that right. In other words, you pay that extra time premium for that, right? And the answer is that the one who is selling you the option is taking the risk that Tesla will rally a lot more by next September and that he'll be stuck selling you the shares at 285 when it might be, who knows, trading at say 400, in which case he'd take a $115 path on each share of Tesla that he'd have to sell you for 285. And so he needs to cover himself for the risk of that happening. And in this case, this, the sellers are saying, I'm willing to bet that Tesla won't go higher than another $30.45 from the current level by next September. And so I'll charge you that extra $30.45 more than the intrinsic value of the call. So that's where the market is setting the time premium the market's collective estimate of what Tesla likely is going to do by next September. And of course, they're just guessing, but it's their educated guess. So before I can give any advice to a guy here at the firm on how to structure a trade, I always like to understand their goals and price targets. And so I asked this trader, if you owned the Tesla shares outright, at what price would you be happy to sell them? And he said, I don't see Tesla getting above 390. I then also asked him what's the price at which he'd be happy to scoop up additional shares of Tesla and he told me that if Tesla sold off to 280 he'd be happy to double his position in Tesla. Well, by owning the three calls, he is in a sense long 300 shares of Tesla stock and so what he's saying is that he'd love to own 300 more shares of Tesla stock if he could get a hold of them at 280 per share. So, armed with that information, the goals of the trader, let's take a look at what I'm suggesting as a possible path for him to take. But before we do that, I wanted to mention something, which is that we're currently running a two hour free intensive workshop at the moment where we'll be teaching three real world option strategies that professional options traders use, including a really simple but incredibly effective strategy that some of the greatest investors in the world like Warren Buffett use all the time, plus an options trading strategy that has a statistical 80% probability of profit month in and month out, plus an option strategy that you can employ with a stock that you like where you'll make your target profit, whether the stock goes up, goes nowhere, or even goes down a small percentage. So if those are strategies that would be of interest to you, then you should check out the free options class that we're currently running. Just go ahead and click the link that should be appearing now at the top right corner of your screen. That will open the free registration page in a new window, so don't worry, you won't lose this video. Or you can just go on over to optionsclass.com to register for this free intensive workshop. It's a rare opportunity for retail traders and investors to learn directly from Wall Street traders, but that's exactly what you'll be getting through this free online workshop. So click the link to sign up now and don't miss it. Okay, so back to the trade. What I'm suggesting is that he actually go ahead and sell those three 285 calls and simultaneously buy 300 actual shares of Tesla. I'll explain these moves in a minute, but I also suggested that he sell three of the September 390 calls and also at the same time, I suggest that he sell three of those September 280 puts. Now let's break down why I'm suggesting all four of these moves, which should, should be done pretty much at the same time. Okay. As for selling the original 285 calls, remember I said that they have that $30.45 time premium built into them. Well, the reason I'm suggesting that he sells those calls is that over time, that time value will slowly drop out of the price of the option because remember, that time value is there to guard the seller against the huge increase in price of Tesla and the bath that he would take if that happens. Well, as time goes by, all options lose their time value until finally, on expiration day, the option has no time value at all because there's no more time for the price of the stock to make a big move and hurt the call seller. 
time is up on the option, and so the time value actually goes to zero, and the only thing left in the option is that intrinsic value that we talked about, because there's no time left. So why wait around and see that deterioration happen? Instead, just sell the calls and make the profit, which is considerable. It's $17,535, like we said before, and as you can see from the calculation. So step one is to lock in the profit on those calls. What I suggested for step two is that he outright buy 300 shares of that stock. Now that would cost a little more than $104,000. Now, why are we buying the shares? Because the shares are the shares. There's no time premium in them. So we won't lose time premium. There is no time premium. The next and final steps are to sell both the 390 calls and the 280 puts, which as you can see from the calculation will bring him in over $20,000 in cash into his account. Now, one thing that people kind of get mixed up about as to options is that they're fuzzy on what happens to the premium for options once you sell them. Well, the answer is simple. When you sell an option, you get to keep that cash forever. It's yours. Now, you have some obligations for having received that cash, but that cash is yours no matter what. That's important to remember. Okay, so now let's take a look at a couple of different scenarios here because it's pretty cool when you put it all together. Okay, the first scenario to look at is that Tesla, before September of next year, rallies to 390. Now, assuming the call buyer exercises his option, then the trade, and this is important, has done what you wanted it to. You hit your target price, and now you're exiting. And yet, look, you got paid almost $12,000 for something you would have done anyway. In other words, sell your shares at Target, and you still have the proceeds from those puts you've sold, which should be looking pretty good right now as the stock is trading up at 390 and therefore would have to drop massively for those puts to be exercised. So as you can see, when we take the proceeds from the sale of the stock, add it to the cash we received from selling the 390 calls that just got exercised, add to that the cash we received for selling those 280 puts that are now 110 points below the market, then add to that the profit we got from the original sale of the 285 calls that got this whole thing started, and finally, of course, subtracting out the cost of the shares that we bought at 347 after we sold the original calls, you can see that the profit on the whole trade was over $50,000, which constitutes a 49% gain on the trade. That is way more than he would have made had he just sold the calls, bought the shares, and then sold that at his target of 390. It's more by $20,000, in fact, the amount that he got for selling the 390 calls and the 280 puts. Another scenario, which is really interesting, is where Tesla stays between 390 and 280 until September. In that scenario, neither the calls nor the puts will have any value on expiration next September, and so he just pockets the $20,000 in cash profits. Plus, he still owns the Tesla shares. Finally, in scenario three, Tesla stock drops down to 280. Now, this is a stock where he said he'd love to own the shares at 280. So assuming the put buyer exercises his put, he'll own a stock at 280 that he considers to be a bargain. So all across the spectrum of possibilities, we have had positive outcomes that were consistent with that trader's goals. So what I'd like you to take away from this video is the fact that you can enhance your swing trading by the clever use of options. You certainly can swing trade without options, but just consider how much more profitable your trading would be if you understand how to apply these simple principles to your trades. You'd get yourself into a position where you get paid handsomely for selling your shares at your target profit, something you would have done anyway. But in this example, you get paid almost $12,000 while you wait. And if the stock never reaches that level, you just get to pocket that $12,000 you still own your shares. And finally, if you want to wait for the shares to be at a bargain price before you scoop them up, you get paid for that as well in the form of the put premium. And if the stock does very little, you get more than $20,000 that you just pocket just for being willing to sell your shares at 390 and willing to buy some more at 280. It's honestly pretty exciting if you understand how to use options to your advantage. Just to remind you, as I said earlier, if you enjoyed this video and learned something valuable from it and would like to learn 
the details of three real world option strategies that professional options traders use all the time, then you should check out the free options class that we're currently running. Just go ahead and click the link that should be appearing now at the top right hand corner of your screen. That will open the free registration page in a new window so you won't lose this video, don't worry. Or you can just go on over to optionsclass.com to register for this free intensive workshop. It's really a rare opportunity for retail traders and investors to learn directly from Wall Street traders, but that's exactly what you'll be getting through our free online workshop. So click the link to sign up now and don't miss it. And now don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you can easily see more videos like this that we produce for traders all over the world. And while you're at it, please comment what you got out of this video and any other topics that you'd like us to cover in future videos. Until next time, from the entire team at SMB, trade well, trade safely, and trade profitably.